Hi everyone! In this video, we will be doing a magic-like experiment in which we demonstrate potential and kinetic energy in action. So now, let's get started. For this experiment, you will need some tape, two paper clips, a rubber band, a 9-volt battery or a similar weight and size, and a can. I use a Pringles can, but a larger can would actually um, work better for this experiment. But if you have a similar size one, that's fine. And then poke a hole with a screwdriver on both sides of the can. Um, ask a parent to do this for you. This is, it's a bit dangerous. So first take your nine volt battery or similar weight and place the rubber band on both sides and secure the tape over it as shown in the video. Take the apparatus that you just created and place it in one of the holes in the can. It's better to start with the one on the bottom. Pull the rubber band through the hole and take your paper clip once you've done so. Place the paper clip inside the rubber band without securing any parts of the paper clip inside the band. And then do the same thing through the lid of the can and secure it with the paper clip on that side as well. Once you finish, it's time to test your device. Take the can and place it on a surface. Roll it and see what happens. If your can is not rolling back, as shown in the video, don't worry. Another way to see the energy in motion is to spin it around and place it on a surface. It should roll as shown in the video. So now let's talk about how this experiment works. When you roll the can, this is kinetic energy. The can is in motion. While you are doing this, inside the can, the rubber band is twisting as shown in the picture. This twisting has potential energy stored inside it. Once the can stops moving to one side, this potential energy turns into kinetic energy and starts unraveling and the can starts moving to the other side. In our troubleshoot option, if your can, if your can was not rolling back to you, we spun the can ourselves and then placed it down. In this situation, you are causing the kinetic energy and creating the potential energy to build up inside it and when you place it down, the potential energy that's stored in the twisting of the rubber band is released and the can moves. Pretty cool, isn't it? So that concludes today's experiment. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video. And I'll see you next time.